thing until you master it. He says, and when you ready for the next one, when you ready for when you ready to start something else, he says it's gonna come a whole lot faster because you know what to do and you know how to do it. Man. A whole lot faster. You avoid all the other mistakes when you start up your sex your second entrepreneurship. I was looking listening to Napoleon Hill yesterday. I uh, went the devil. Uh oh. Fuck me up when the devil said this. My opposition, the one you call God, he don't use anything that's weak or soft. He's not attracted to it. He's not attracted to anything that's weak or soft. That was a cold, that's a cold one right there, Jay. That's the devil talking, nigga. That's a cold one, nigga. He, he already knows this. Dude, my father told me. He said, if you pay attention to the Bible, Carl, you notice. Everybody God used was criminals. Was criminals. The greatest men in the Bible, and when they started off, they was criminals. He says, God chose them because they was battle tested. They was hard. They knew what it takes to get shit done, and they was willing to risk and do anything to get shit done. God used them because they was battle tested. He said, what about Saul? Saul is like one of the greatest, he's the greatest disciple out of all of them. That greater than Peter, um, greater than James. Saul, dude, Saul was a murderer. Murderer. Before mm -hmm. God got hold of him, nigga, this nigga was annihilating Jews. Annihilating them. Every city he went in, nigga, he was taking heads. That dude turned out to be the greatest disciple in the Bible. And has the great, the more books than any other author in the Bible. Man. Saul, dude. And I was always attracted to Saul, dude. But look, dude, he wasn't no weak dude. He was a strong-minded dude. He, even when he went over to God's side, nigga, uh, the people <clears throat> that he was in charge, that he ran with, mm -hmm. was trying to kill him. Trying to kill him, dude. They beat that nigga so many times because he turned on him. And he started riding with God. Turned on him. But nigga, what'd he do? Nigga, he fought back and kept on going. Kept on going. Became one of the greatest disciples in the Bible. When I was reading in the Poland Hill, when I went the devil said that, he said, my opposition, the one you call God, he's not attracted or used anything that's weak or soft. He can't, he don't fuck with it. Example number two, Jesus. When he um, walked up to this tree because he was hungry, it was a fruit tree, mm -hmm. and the tree wasn't producing any fruit, he cursed it and the tree died because mm. the tree was considered weak. It wasn't producing anything. It shriveled up and died when he cursed it. Dude. So, no, dude. You only fuck with people who's battle-tested and that can help you get you to that next that next phase in your life that get you across the finish line. Mm. That's why I don't take advice from losers. I don't take advice from motherfuckers who ain't done shit and ain't had shit. Nigga ain't even came close to finishing shit. Dude. I, I mean, nigga, I'm like going against myself if I do that shit. Mm -hmm. Going against myself. So, But just having all this understanding, Reading all this information, putting all this information in its proper content, it just helped me realize, like, my family, dude, it's nothing like me. Nothing like me, because I'm willing to do whatever to uh, bring forth my vision. Mm -hmm. All they see is, wow, this nigga making money. This dude making money with his brain, you know? He ain't doing shit at home every day and just making money. And all they do is come knock on the door. I need this. I need that. I need this. I need that. Check this out. That shit is up. That shit is over with. Because God says, you don't take blessings and give it to swans. You don't take blessings and give it to swans. Because if God sees that you keep misusing your blessings, he going to take it away from you. Because mm. he, he didn't give you a vision for nothing. Uh -oh. He chose you for this fucking vision chose you for it so you don't take that and do what you want to do with it you know to help who you want to help fuck that 
every man his own island. Figure it the fuck out. Figure it the fuck out, nigga. What big like Bryce say? You'll figure it out. <laughs> and that was back then, many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you'll figure it out. And keep going. <laughs> Shit, dude. You know so. And that's the last conversation I had with Teresa, dude. It was a deep conversation. It was like, nah, gravy train is over with. You know, you motherfuckers, y'all had access to me when y'all had uh, when y'all had me available. Y'all should have been trying to do the right thing. But you motherfuckers decide to put the car on cruise control, nigga, and get in the back seat, nigga, and eating apple pies and chocolate shakes and shit, nigga. And just <laughs> let this nigga do all the work. We just gonna enjoy the fruits of his labor. Let him do all the work. Nah. Mm-mm. Nah. Let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck if I accumulate a billion dollars before I die. If you niggas still in the same state of mind, ain't nobody saying shit. Mm. Seeing shit, nigga. This shit. Man, I tell fuck motherfuckers all the time, this is the way I am. Because Tim asked me one day. He said, dude, if you get the lottery for $50 million, he said, uh, he said, how much would you give me? I said, I'm going to give you shit. I said, I'm going to give you shit. He said, what you mean? I said, dude, let me tell y'all something. Because evidently, y'all know me, but y'all don't know me. Y'all just like being around Nick because Nick can make y'all laugh and do goofy shit. But let me, I'm going to tell you some, some real honest shit. And I told Teresa this shit, too. I said, if I had $50 million, I ain't buying nobody no house. I ain't buying nobody no new car. None of that shit. I said, if you can walk and run and you're not crippled, and you got the same mind, nigga, you can work. You can work. Go out and get your own shit. I said, but my money would be to, to those who can't help themselves. Who can't help themselves. I said, the biggest portion of my fortune, I would start a charity thing to help foster kids. Foster kids. Kids who was thrown away. Kids who get kicked out on the street when they're 18 years old, you know, with no life skills. Mm -hmm. I said, no, my money going to the ones who have no fucking chance. I said, I will create a school for just trading, just teaching people how to, just teaching those kids at an early age how to trade. So when they become 18, they can take off running. Mm -hmm. I said, they can go to, they can make money while they're there to go to college, buy their own house when they come out that system, I said, my money will go to help people who can't help their self. I said, and foster kids, I always had a soft place in my heart for foster kids. I said, that is fucked up. You talking about motherfuckers who don't have a chance. You living under five or six, seven different roofs until you're 18 years old with motherfuckers that only want you there because they get a paycheck. That's it. That's it. No. No. I'm not helping no motherfucker that can help himself. Nigga, you got, you still got time to turn your life around, nigga, buy you a house, get you a new car, all you motherfuckers riding on these raggedy-ass Harleys and shit, fucking these raggedy-ass bitches, keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Shit. No. I'm going to revamp the foster system. Dude, I'm telling you, if I had 50 billion, shit, dude, let me tell you something, dude. All that cheddar, all that cheddar, dude, I devote the rest of my life trying to save these kids' lives. And let me tell you something. That's where the greatest blessings come from, you know. Don't mistreat the kids. That's who the one God loves. Mm-hmm. God loves the man that look at a child and has compassion for him, you know. Like I told my father one day. He asked me why I do so much for Corey. He said, Corey ain't your son. Why you do so much for him? Little did Pops dead in his eye told him. I said, blood don't make you a father. Blood don't make you a father. I said, uh, showing a young man how to be a man, how to be productive in this world, and how to take care of his family. That would make a man a father. Just because you donated some sperm don't make him no father. Nigga, pop, shut the fuck up. 
Pop, mm. shut the fuck up, nigga. Because he knew exactly what the fuck I was saying. You know? It's like, when you hear that shit, I ain't caught up in society where motherfuckers see certain things in certain ways, nigga. If you ain't fucking so many bitches, nigga, what's wrong with you, nigga? If you ain't um, doing this, nigga, what's wrong with you? Nigga, that's what society say. That ain't what I say, motherfucker. That ain't what I say. Nigga. I never rolled with a gang. I never rolled with the masses. I never was in a fucking fraternity, nigga, and I never will be. Why? Because, nigga, you looking at a man that, think that can stand by his fucking self. Stand by himself. Now, yeah, nigga, a hundred niggas might whoop me. And shit, nigga, I might have to run for my life. All I can say is this, motherfucker. If I get away, nigga, I'll be back. I'll be back, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 That's all a nigga could do, huh, boo? Goddamn right. <laughs> you said you keep that beat, I'll be back shit to yourself. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. Nigga, the motherfuckers at their little clubhouse having a party and freaking weekend and shit. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, nigga come through the door, nigga skinning and grinning, nigga with a Tommy gun. Talking about surprise, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they, they wouldn't like that. They wouldn't like that too good. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, dude. Nah, dude. But yeah, dude. Told her ass, I said, this month, your ass need to be worth it. Because check this out, you only get half what I give your ass. So, um, I've been giving you, you know. You only get half that shit. So, and uh, got on her ass about my daughter, too. I said, it's a damn shame. Layla's still doing everything she was doing, nigga, before we found out she was failing. She's still doing everything. No consequences. Ain't shit changed since we got presented with this new information. Ain't shit changed. I said, that shit crazy. So I told her, can she override everything I say as far as trying to punish Layla and take away shit? Since she override all that shit? I told her, I don't want to hear nothing that goes on over there. Nothing. Nothing. And I ain't got more nothing to do with nothing that goes on over there. So however that little girl turn out, Nigga, that shit is on you. That shit is on you. Nigga. What you say, Jay? What you say, Jay? She still need to have fun. She still need to have fun. She still oh, need to oh, have okay. life. Oh, okay. Wow. Like, all right. Dumb bitch. I said, boy, it's crazy how my mother seen right through your ass. Nigga, <laughs> the first time she met you. That shit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. Mom was acting like, dude, that would be the biggest mistake I made if I fuck with that girl. <laughs> and she was not lying. Told Dre Carter the other day, he with that daddy, daddy. I said, look, dude, stop calling me that shit. <laughs> well, you my dad. I said, nigga, we ain't got no fucking blood test back yet, nigga. Stop calling me that shit, nigga. You call me Mr. Jones, nigga, until we get information that say different, motherfucker. Call me Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, well, can I call you dad? I said, no, nah, nigga, you can call me nothing to start with a D, motherfucker. Nothing. <laughs> 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 hey, bro, you don't think I be going too hard on my kids, do you? I well, may know you mean the homie. They know who you is, though. But you still, you still got to look at it like this, mate. You know, uh-huh. you know, auntie was right, but, but you got Darius, nigga. You got Darius. Regardless, you know, you got later, you got your baby girl, your little princess. But you also got Darius, dog, at the situation, man. And he's a clone yeah. of you. Yeah. yeah. So that was a blessing right there off the rip, nigga. Guess what that little motherfucker doing for me today? What are you doing today, Jay? He said, Dad, he said, what is going to be today? My treat. We going Sizzler or we going to Red Lobster? I said, Red Lobster, my man. If you paying for it, Red Lobster, my man. That's right. He's like, all right, Dad. He said, all right. He said, you can have whatever you want. He said, uh, we're going to hang out a little bit. He said, I got a lot. He told me. He said, I got a lot to do today, Dad. He said, but we're going to hang out for three, four hours. All right, we're going to hang out with you. We're going to go to lunch and stuff. I was like, this little nigga always looking out for a motherfucker. Oh, the niggas don't ask for nothing. Ask for nothing. <laughs> and always looking out for me. 
And he called me last night. He said, Dad, this is the seventh month, right? He said, I got five and a half more months to go to the end of the year. He says, uh, he says, I, I, I he said, remember I told you my goal by December? I said, yeah. He said, I might not reach it, but I'm, aver- I'm doing some averaging for the rest of the month to see if I'm going to come close. And he said, Dad, I'm going to come close. Even if I don't hit it, I'm going to be still close. All I got to do is make this much a month, put this much up, keep my expenses down here. I said, look at this little motherfucker, 21 years old. Look at this little nigga thing. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. And that nigga, his mama think I fucked him up because he's totally against marriage. Totally against it. And his mom think it's my doing. Like, no, nah, nigga, you blame Dr. Dre for that shit. Because every time you talk about mar- marriage, that nigga bring up Dr. Dre in the cult. You talk to that nigga about that shit. <laughs> nigga, you write Dr. Dre a letter and say, you selfish motherfucker. You fucking it up for all of those, for all the women in the world who's trying to get married. You selfish yeah, son of a man. bitch. First of all, they ain't working. First of all, they, they not working. They not pouring that. They not, first of all, they, they not bringing that to the table. This bitch, you got no, a shit. pussy, bitch. You got that motor pussy. You ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't lying. You're not lying. And a nigga figure you out when the nigga, majority niggas, when they, they, when they date abroad, they figure them out anyway. It just, this ain't but laugh and giggle, bitch. Just know, this, bitch, I'm not investing my fortune yeah. and the rest of my life into you, bitch, because on the back end, you, I get fucked on the back end. So we're going to leave it just exactly. like it is. Exactly. And Darren's got that shit so down cold. He said, nigga, even if he have a long time girlfriend, nigga, they can't live together. She got to have her place. He got to have his. Keep it gangsta, yo. Keep it I don't read up on that shit, on that common law stuff. Ooh, he said, no. She got to have her own address. I got to have my own address. <laughs> you like, smart yeah, man. Nigga. Smart man. Go on, nephew. You go on, nephew. <laughs> that nigga say, shit. I said, uh, what if y'all have kids together? He said, I take care of what belong to me. And that's Uh-oh. it. Uh-oh. I take care of what belong to me. I think, uh... His mom be talking about Darius just talking shit. He just talking shit. Darius young. He says he got a long time to go. He said, I guarantee you, by the time that boy 25, 26, 27, some girl gonna uh, he gonna fall in love. Some girl gonna have this shit and he gonna fall in love. And she said, that's it. He's still hollering that shit. I like nah. That nigga mind is made to fuck up. I said that nigga talk more about money and businesses and owning shit more than he talk about a bitch. Oh, there you shit. go. There you go. You let me know what's first. You let me know what's first. Shit. So. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So. Yeah, I said, man, one out of three wasn't bad, I guess. Shit. Man, he, 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 he a young king, man. You know, he putting it down. Yeah. Like I said, man, that nigga don't ask for nothing, dude. Nothing. That nigga take care of his own bills, his own situations. <laughs> That nigga be helping his sister out from time to time. Help his granny out from time to time. Mm-hmm. Shit. So, uh, yeah, that dude. And that nigga like me. He don't like nobody trying to guess what he's worth or how much money he got or what he making. Mm-hmm. Nigga, he can't stand that shit. You know, shit. He said he got mad because his granny called him and told him, I heard that you getting rich. I heard you getting rich. He said, uh, where you get that from? Who told you that? He was like, well, what's your mama saying? He said, my mama don't know what she's talking about. They <laughs> 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 do that shit to the left, like. He was like, mm-mm. He said, one thing I noticed, Dad, when people think you got something, people like asking for shit. And get attitudes if you say no, because they think you got it and saying no. He said, so, he said, the way I figured that, just always look and stay broke. He said, Dad, let me tell you something how a woman ain't going to never know what I'm worth. I said, how's that? He said, because I'm going to keep me an ordinary car. He said, even if she said, even though I like McLarens and stuff like that, he said, even if I buy one, it'll never be where I'm at. It'll never be in the vicinity where I'm at. And when I do drive it, it'll always be a rich neighborhood and nice restaurants. He said, but other than that, I always have a plain car. And he said, Dad, I'm always have plain clothes, no designer, nothing. He says, you know, little nice cargo shorts and T-shirts and sandals. I say, this little nigga, he done thought this shit through. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said, they'll never know what I'm worth. 
you never know. But damn, I said, go. Man. I said, yeah, no, nigga. I said, you been sneaking behind me reading my shit? <laughs> <They're> like, nah. <laughs> like, nah. But, uh, so, but you have to thank his mama, though, dog. His mama played a big part in all this. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't like that energy, dog. Dad was like, ooh, what is this? this it, don't, it don't feel right. You know what I mean? This is my mama. Yeah, this is my mama, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling different. I don't, you know, like, what? You know, that thing is mama. I mean, you did your part, but his mama, you know, she wasn't catering to him. She was like, made him accountable. So, he, you know, in a, in a way, like, nigga, you work for me. And he didn't like that. So that was, that's what pushes, that's what really what catapulting him to greatness because. And how, how you look at women because of what his mama put on it. Exactly, dude. Exactly, dude. That nigga say all the time, dude, she's a procrastinator. <laughs> she's a procrastinator, dude. He said, Dad, he said, I understand my mom lost her job like three years ago. I understand that shit. He said, and I can understand you've been on that job for 21 years and you feel like you lost your 401k and pension or whatever or you feel like... Uh, you know, you lost some kind of stability. So I understand that, Dad, you know. And I can understand you being depressed maybe, maybe a year, maybe, which he said, I don't see myself sitting down for no fucking year. <laughs> yeah, being C A Z that yeah. part, not doing nothing, yeah. not being productive. Yeah. And you got your yeah. help, but you're not being yeah. productive. But he says, I can understand a year only because, you know, she's not really educated in nothing. She don't really know nothing else. I can understand that. He said, Dad, but for uh, two, three years, Woo! three years, he said, nah, Dad, now she comfortable not doing nothing. She comfortable not doing nothing. Now she comfortable not working. And he said, Dad, uh, she talked about all this stuff. He said, Dad, her actions don't match none of her statements. Her mm. actions don't match none of her statements. Mm. My mom is just cracking it. That's all it is. Wow. Can Jay? But yeah, Jay. What the polling here? I wouldn't the devil said when I was listening to it yesterday morning, the devil said, Wishing never got nothing done. Oh, what do you say? Wishing never <laughs> he say wishing never got nothing done oh he said the way my opposition he said the way my opposition created this universe he says you have to apply action to get something in return wow you have to reply action to get something in return he said dreaming about it and wishing about it he said are for the uh drifters are for drifters mm -hmm. <laughs> God damn, that <laughs> was cold, my And it's crazy that Darius said that shit. It's crazy. He says she now her actions contradict her statements. Mm. Her actions contradict her statements. And uh, he says she's a procrastinator. Procrastinator. Mm -hmm. I said, look at this little nigga. He reads his mom up and down. <laughs> Yeah. But I had to get on his ass. I said, look, dude, on Father's Day, you know, Layla bought me a fish tank, fish, decorated, all that old shit, you know, her and her fat cheeseburger eating ass mama and shit. I said, but you, nigga, you didn't give me shit for Father's Day. I said, but on Mother's Day, nigga, you went all out for your mother. So even though you be saying that shit about your mom, nigga, you be going all out. He said, Dad, he says, what can you give a king? He said, what do you say? What can you give a king that that king can't buy himself? I was like, shut the fuck up with that. Yeah. Philosophy, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nigga, shut up. Shut the fuck up with all that philosophy, nigga. <laughs> he ain't trying to hear it. AJ, it's my turn. I ain't trying to hear that it was my turn. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Nigga, look, nigga. There's only enough room for one sweet daddy see in his family, nigga. Wait your turn, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait your turn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Trying to nigga, put them head games on me with them words, nigga. I'm going to hear that dumb shit, nigga. <laughs> AJ, when it's my turn, nigga, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell 
That shit crazy. All right, man. I'm getting here and finish drinking my goddamn coffee, dude. I'm finna lay in the bed all fucking day today until this nigga come get me, dude. Hey, I man, DJ. See, I, I, nigga, when I was working on my goddamn car yesterday, my nigga, I, you know, got it going, got to go get a battery, and she got it going, nigga. I went and laid my ass down. I said, fuck it, nigga. I guess I, I'm privileged to do that sometimes, lay the fuck down and shut this shit down. Cause I, was, you know, I ain't no mechanic, nigga. But I said, fuck that. I ain't gonna spend no, spending no niggas, no thousands of dollars, no hundreds. And I can go, go get a motherfucking starter for $50 and rebuild starter and put that shit on my goddamn thing. I bought another battery. My shit's like a new car now. Dude, so you did do it, huh? You know, I was, you know, I was wrenching, dog, and I was determined. Jay and son, I think I, I was determined, nigga. I fuck that, nigga. I don't have, no, I don't have nothing to drive, nigga, but that. Damn. Well, I had to rent, Damn. nigga. I had no choice. Yeah. Wow. Nigga, this was, cool. nigga, this, nigga, this was a 6220 <laughs> Gramercy, nigga. When you open the gate, nigga, and I'm like, ooh, look at all these motherfuckers. Just throw a battery in one, nigga, and grab the keys and go and, and just go. And just go, <laughs> damn. Damn, y'all think about that shit? Damn, nigga, was I retarded? Nigga, y'all can open the gate, nigga, I had cars in there half a block long, both sides of the street, nigga. If you just met me. <laughs> I'm thinking about that shit now. Go ahead, Jay. I'm listening, bro. Dude, nigga used to open the gate, nigga, and cars from the front to the back. Come nigga. on, both sides, nigga. Back, nigga. <laughs> and if a nigga was having a problem with his personal shit, Nigga just throw a battery in one of them motherfuckers. Nigga, stop. Hmm. <laughs> nigga. Man. <laughs> nigga. Man. Throw a fake-ass number in the back window, nigga, and roll. Man. 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 But that's cool, dude. You, um, was, was, was it hard, dude? Because that's a Toyota Solar, dude. Them, sometimes they make that shit difficult. Was it hard to no, get it up nigga, there, dude? No, nigga. The, the brand that I rock, the brand that I rock, I went to the brand that I rock, nigga, and it's a dude, dude. I said, huh? I thought the mother, I thought I had to jack the car up, nigga, the shit is on, nigga, this shit is right on top of the goddamn transmission. I thought I had to jack the car up and do all this shit. I said, like, damn, I didn't get some jack stands. Nigga, that shit was right there, nigga. Wait a minute, I dude, removed the plastic and the starters start right there. You put a start on the car, you put a start on the car, nigga, while all four tires were still on the ground? Yes, sir. Damn. I didn't know that, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that, nigga. I like, never did that shit. Yeah. And a motherfucking yeah. 14 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, 14 millimeter, I had that motherfucker out, dog, and I had to start out in five, I had to start out in five minutes. I had to pull all that plastic off the top, it was right there, my nigga. Wow. I didn't know that. Wow. I'm thinking, nigga, damn, that motherfucker's up underneath. You know, I'm thinking a Chevy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that motherfucker had to move all this shit, cause that motherfucker, man. Shit, that shit was right <laughs> there, bro. I said, oh. Is, is, is it an automatic or a stick? Automatic. Wow. Wow. I seen one of your videos one day, nigga. You was in that motherfucker rolling with the rag down, nigga, and the windows rolled up. I said, God <laughs> damn, nigga. That reminded me of the 80s like a motherfucker, nigga, fucking you know I mean? music and shit. You going know I mean? having flashbacks. Oh, you going know I mean? having flashbacks. Yeah. I'm like, God damn, man, this nigga making nigga want to go get a rag, nigga, go get a rag, <laughs> you, know, you know, I mean, you know, you know what, I don't even like driving it like that, dog.